too. I really liked horror films when I was a kid. Now I feel like it's harder to see one that I actually enjoy. Who or what got you into metal? Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slash Prepper, and welcome to another video. Today is the very first episode of Talking Metal with. You've already seen me talk horror with several guests on the Talking Horror With show, which if you want to check out some of those videos, the link will be over there. Uh, but today, this is the first episode of Talking Metal With, and we'll be talking metal with Instagram guitarist Raven Screams. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks. Awesome. Glad to have you on the show. So my first question was, um, who or what got you into metal? Well, I remember that I've always liked um, more of the classic rock stuff because my dad got me into it. And I have this memory of like, whenever they had the heavier riffs come, I would always be like super hyped and like, well, what is this? I need more. And then suddenly I had this friend that was like, hey, you should check this band out. They're called the Van Sevenfold. And I listened to it and it all changed. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> like what, uh, what time zone was that in? Like uh, during what album cycle of the Van Sevenfold was that? It was, it was pretty late. I think it was with like Hell to the King. Oh, yeah. So That's was... a good album, though. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, they're one of my favorite bands, too. What other bands did you kind of listen to at that point in time? Uh... I guess I listened to all of, like, the metal, emo, you know, like the Ballad for My Valentine and all that stuff. And then I got into more of, like, classic metal as soon as I started playing guitar and discovering new bands, I don't know, like Iron Maiden or Rage Against the Machine. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and, uh, and I was wondering about that, too. Uh, why the guitar? Why did you start playing uh, the guitar? Why not drums or uh, bass? What was so cool about guitars to you? Um, I honestly don't know. I guess I, my mom plays the guitar. She studied classical guitar. And I had one at home, so I guess it was like the closest thing. Right. This made and I sense. picked it up and it was... Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. And now you're in a band. Tell me more about that band. I am. I am. Um, I joined last year because their vocalist left. And they were like, hey, could you help us while we find someone to actually, you know, be our, our actual vocalist? And I just... I joined the band and there I am. We've released an album. We are planning on recording an EP right now and that's it. Let's hope that COVID and stuff lets us get into the studio soon again. Oh yeah, and maybe a tour uh, someday? I hope so, <laughs> I hope so. But it, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen anytime soon, at oh, least no. here. <laughs> maybe next year indeed. <laughs> yeah, uh. maybe. So um, we already mentioned Avenged Sevenfold and Rage Against the mm -hmm. Machine. Uh, besides those bands, what are some of your favorite musicians? Oh, okay. So if we're talking about guitar players, David Gilmour will always have a really special place in my heart. I don't know what he has that is so special, but like every single one of his solos hits me so, so deep. And I don't know, I... If we're talking about vocalists, I listen to a lot of different stuff, anything from more of like pop and, you know, like soul. I really liked um, Amy Winehouse when I was growing up. I really like, I'm getting a lot into Avatar lately. They have an amazing vocalist and well, all of them are like great musicians. I don't know if you know them. Yeah, I've heard of them, but it's like a, f a female vocalist too, right? No, no, no. No? Oh, that's nope. my bad then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um I'm, i must be confusing them with uh ginger wasn't it yeah they have, they have, yeah, uh, yeah sure. right yeah and 
I kind of feel like um, between the horror and the metal community, there's always sort of a connection going on. Mm -hmm. uh, like yeah. usually kind of go hand in hand. Are you much of a horror fan yourself? Not as much as I used to. I really liked horror films when I was a kid. Now I feel like it's harder to see one that I actually enjoy. They right. are, like all the modern horror films just feel so cheesy for no reason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can understand that. Uh, yeah, for me, I'm a, I'm a big uh, horror fan. And uh, honestly, that's kind of what got me into metal. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but um, in like the early 2000s, you had um, all these horror movies coming out and they would release soundtracks with those movies. Yes. So, for example, you had like Freddy vs. Jason and then you have songs with, uh, with Slipknot and Stone Sour and all mm -hmm. of those kinds of bands. And then I kind of got into metal because of horror. Um, but yeah, it's, it's always either you get into metal and then horror or you get into horror yeah. and then metal. I kind of feel like that goes hand in hand. Um, and yeah, what are some of your favorite albums? Like what, what uh, I can see you have some vinyl in the background, so. Yeah, yeah, I stole them from my dad. They were sitting, <laughs> they were sitting like on top of a... Um, like a wardrobe or something and i was like no they are mine now so <laughs> right uh i don't know my favorite album so uh i mean i guess we have the classics like the black the dark side of the moon or the right. wall by big boy wish you were here it's another like absolute masterpiece um avatar's latest album is also really good really good uh Ginger has also released a lot of new music and it's really good too. Let me think. I mean, I guess Nightmare by Ben Sevenfold, one of my favorite bands, one of my favorite albums. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Right. And what have you been listening to lately? Uh, I've been listening to a lot of classical music. Um, what else have I been listening to? I've been listening to a lot of Ginger, a lot of Avatar. I've been uh, getting back into, you know, the rap metal thingy. And I've been listening to Tame Impala. They were a, little, a bit of a late discovery, but they're also really good. It's not metal, but there it is. Awesome. Yeah, I've uh, been getting into uh, Hatebreed a bit lately. Have you ever mm -hmm. listened to that? They're really cool. Yeah. Yeah. There's something about that kind of aggression, you know. It's it's similar to. Uh, um, I'm, I'm surprised no one else has made this comparison yet, but I feel like, uh, you know, the Hate Breed albums are kind of similar to the early Slipknot albums in terms of aggression, you know. Yeah, probably. Maybe not yeah. by sound, but like the lyrics and. Um, no, but yeah, but I get what you're what you're trying to say. Yeah. I mean, you can't compare. Uh, I will be hurt or something like that to people equal shit like it's so different but in terms yeah. of aggression I feel like it's kind of similar uh, you know mm -hmm. sure yeah is there anything you would like to add to the episode um what should I say <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say <laughs> it's always such a question like if if someone would ask that to me, I would have no idea what to answer. But I was asking yeah, other people. Yeah, like them... so many stuff to say. Like, I'm so bad at talking. I'm so yeah. bad at talking. It's, it's um, especially with questions, you know. Like, uh, if someone would ask me that question uh, and it would stop recording. Yeah, like, what would you say? <laughs> like, after 10 minutes, I would be like, oh, I should have said that, you know. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes to mind as soon as we finish the call. But right, right. now. <laughs> well, just uh, just to check you out on social media, I guess uh, I will uh, put all of your links uh, in the description. Thank so you. If anyone wants to uh, check her out. Everything is in the description. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye. All right. All right. Oh, if you start to be to be the light You again, you again I know you're gonna be